today is a little chilly. It is Thursday and it's windy. You can probably hear the wind in the video. It's 40 degrees and the bees are flying. So they know it's going to warm up a little bit and they're getting out there as soon as they can. This is really like noon, one o'clock in the afternoon. So it is warm, but it's not as warm as it may get. Not hot, but it's going to be warm. So anyway, it's good to see the bees flying. And this is the hive that we're going to take a look at shortly. It's the hive that we started on, I believe it was April 4th. Look at those girls. The yellow hive was started on the 4th, I believe, as well. And the other three, the pink one, it's really peach, blue and green, were just started last weekend. So we're going to take the queen cages out of those hives and see how they're doing. Make sure that they have food. And you're going to do the same thing on your Langstroth, your Top Bars, your Waray hives. You just want to get everybody going and have them have as much food as possible and try to make sure that they draw out as much comb as they can. Time is of the essence. Do you hear that? That's my electric fence. This is the kind of moss that is great to put into your bird bath or wherever you're gonna do for your bees. So I'm gonna take a few of these. I'm gonna bring them back, put them in the bird bath, add some water, and the bees will be very, very happy. And then as you can see underneath, there is some um, matter. And so this stuff should stay nice and moist all summer long and give the birds, no, sorry, not the birds, the bees, something to drink from. Excellent. Okay, so we've been in once and we've gone in and we took uh, the empty sugar water off and now we're putting the, the new sugar water on. Um, we're going to be checking the bees, make sure that we need to either put on another hive body or not. And first what we got to do is we've got to put our socks over our pants. So remember to do these things every time. Socks over the pants. And then let's start our smoker. So here's our smoker. We used a little bit of grass before to close it up. We have a few things in here from before, but not a big deal. If it doesn't look like it's anything that you're gonna, it's gonna be helpful to make your fire, then uh, just take it out and then put some new stuff in. I'm gonna use a little bit of paper gonna get this started put some pine needles in really get this going with a good white smoke and I always like to keep my hive tool around too just so that I can get it in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it again starting but I wanted to make sure that things didn't fly out because it's a little windy today so we're getting this going here once that paper gets on fire, then it'll really start moving. Never keep your, your smoker in front of you or above where the flame could just burst up, because I've seen it happen before. You don't want to have that happen. So we're getting the smoker going. We've got our hive tool. We've got our veil and gloves. We're just going to get our smoker ready to go. There we go. And we're headed into the hives. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take off our ratchet strap. The ratchet strap is just so that we have a backup just in case our bare fence doesn't work. I like to have a ratchet strap. I'm going to take the top cover off, put it to the side, and I'm going to put it upside down so I can put this high body right on top of it. If this doesn't come off easy, I'll have to use my tool in order to pry it over. We're taking this off because we're going to go look and find the queen. And we're also going to see how the girls are doing. If they have filled up seven of the ten frames in here, it's time for another hive body. So there's about a half a container of food still left in there. You can see the bees are eating food from there. I'm going to smoke it a little bit. Let's see where my smoker is up here. 
just to let them know that we're coming in. There's a little bit of smoke in the front, a little bit here, a little bit underneath the inner cover. I don't think we'll need a lot of it today. We're going to take our inner cover in this case and just put it off to the side. I've been feeding them some pollen patties. They'll either eat them or not. But I'm going to take those off for right now. Put those to the side. Try not to kill any bees. I have another one here. There's a lot of pollen out there, so they really are having enough to eat right now anyway. So what I'm seeing is the bees are filling up these spaces right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're getting pretty close to adding another hive body. I think I may do it today. So let's take a look. What we're going to do is we're going to start with one of the frames that are on the outside that they haven't really gotten to yet and there's not a lot going on. Empty frame, put that to the side. Get another frame, empty, put that to the side. You want to be careful if it's hot out that your foundation doesn't melt and fold in. But I think we're okay today. It has gone from 20 degrees this morning to 55 now. This is perfect time where it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's a perfect time to go in and visit your bees. A lot of times I try to go in around noon, but today at noon time it was still 40 degrees. Okay, so bees are on this frame. Nothing going on. I'm not going to think that I'm going to find the queen there. Next frame over. And these are going to be really easy to pull out right now because they're brand new frames. Now you can see that the bees have done a lot of work. They have drawn out a lot of comb and there's a lot of shiny stuff on here. That shiny stuff is nectar. So this frame here, you can see in the sun, very shiny. And you can see that there's a lot of nectar in here. The queen should not be on this frame because it's nectar. The queen can't lay in a nectar frame, so she's not going to worry about this. This is just going to be a food frame for the bees. So we're going to put this frame back into the hive. Let the bees continue on that one. We'll take out our next frame. Let's see what we find on this one. This one has really been filled out. The queen has really been laying on here. They're doing a little bit of a waggle dance on here. Really beautiful. Oh yeah, i got to show you this one too. All right, so this one here has a lot of capped brood on it. It's got a lot of space on it. The bees have really been filling in. in. It's beautiful. So this is what we want. We want it to be filled in. So you've got honey here already, capped honey in the corners. Here we've got brood. We've got a couple of bees that have some pollen on their legs. Really, really beautiful. Oh, there's a couple of dances there. Watch this one here. See her dancing? She's trying to tell the other bees where to go. Ha ha ha. No, where to find food. So you watch the bees and they're going to do what they need to do to communicate because remember, they're doing this all in the dark. Remember how to turn your frame? Okay, and there's lots of little babies there. Let's see if we can find that queen. Take the next frame out. She's good, probably going to be on this frame or the next one. I would, I'm thinking the next one, but we'll see. So we take it out. Fingers underneath the um, sides. We're going to take a look at it. There she is. Okay, so here's the bees. They're doing just what they're supposed to do. But on this side, can you find the queen? Can you find the queen? Keep looking. I just saw her. Did she go to the other side? Okay. She's down on the bottom. On the bottom of this. Okay. So Dean says he sees her. Oh yeah, she's right there. So can you see her there? Beautiful queen. Just looking for another cell. So what we want to do is we want to get her back into the hive. We've seen the queen. We know we have eggs, but I'm going to show you eggs here in just a second. So we're going to put this frame right back in, just the way we took it out. We know the queen is on it, so we know that this frame here, this next one, we are not going to kill the queen because she's on that other frame. So what I'm going to do in this one here, let's see. This one has nectar, and this one has nectar. So I'm not going to show you any eggs. Let's see. 
I'm going to pull out another frame and see if we can give you some eggs, possibly. I don't want to pull that one out. Let's see. Let's pull this one here. Make sure she's not on this one. She could have just jumped over, so we've got to be careful. Use the sun. Put the sun at your back, and you'll see a lot more because the bees will really shine. Okay, I'm going to shake the bees off this one. I don't expect you to do this, but I'm going to do this for you so that you can see what everything looks like underneath the bees. So what we have here is we have a frame, and if you look really, really close into these cells, you might be able to see the eggs. So you can see capped brood, you can see eggs, you can see nectar, and the honey up in the corner here. This frame has it all. This is the kind of thing that you're going to be looking at on your, your hive. And what I see here is lots of pollen. You can see lots of pollen in different colors there, and it's the same thing on the other side as well. Just beautiful. This hive is doing really well. They've got five frames completely drawn out. They have two other frames almost drawn out. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to add another hive body. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to take a frame that they've started on and put that up in my second level of my hive body. So I have my second hive body here ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out two frames, set those aside, and I'm going to take one or two frames, not including the queen and not any brood, and put those up in the top. This is called pyramiding. The, way, the reason that we do this is to encourage the bees to continue to go up. So we don't want to do this too early, but the bees are already moving, and so we want to keep them going. So we put two frames in the top of this hive body. We're going to take the frames that we have remaining and stick those on the sides. Push them in. Let's see, we're going to take this one actually. I'm going to move this one over. We're going to put this frame in. And this way you don't kill any bees either because there's no bees really around these frames that you're putting in. Then I'm going to put two frames on the other side, away from the bees, and then push them in, away from the bees, and push them in. And you may feel like this is a lot of bees, but it's really not. These are just bees flying around doing what the bees are going to do. Just wait until the summer comes and you have 40 or 50,000 bees in your hive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some of this pollen patty down below, right near where the bees are and where the queen is laying. The food from the, the um, pollen patty is used to make bee bread. And bee bread is what the bees need in order to grow more bees. So they need, they need uh, pollen and they need nectar. So they have plenty of nectar coming in right now. So that's all set to go. I'm going to take my high body, my new one, and put this on. Now I see bees here. What I'm going to do is I can either brush them away or smoke them away. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push them away and they'll move out and then we have a high body on. Okay. So now they have the ability to come up and, in, and start uh, pulling out more comb in the other areas. We're going to push all of our frames together, and you may have seen me do that in the other high body down below. Push all your frames together because if you have your frames and they're open, what will happen is they'll draw comb in between and then it'll be a real mess for you. So now we're all set here. I'm going to put a little bit more of a pollen patty up here because eventually that queen will be laying up here as well. We're going to take the inner cover put that back on here and if we needed space okay so this side has a, a flat side on the bottom that's how we would usually put it on flat side bigger side this bigger side is going to be turned over this time because we want a little bit more space so that the pollen patty isn't squished in and that way you have a little bit of airflow 
These little sticks here are where the food is going to go. In this case, I'm using a bucket feeder. This is one-to-one -one sugar water. I'm going to pour it over. I'm not going to pour it into the hole, and I'm not going to pour it out on the grass. I'm going to pour it right on top of the inner frame, the inner cover here. Put this down. Ready to go. Put the outer cover around, not killing any bees again. And putting the outer cover cover on. We'll end up putting the ratchet strap back on, and these guys will be good for another two to three weeks. This is your first visit and everything that you needed to do to get your bees into their hive, get them moving, and keep them going. Good luck. So Dean just pointed out to me that when I was doing my little snow plow thing that I pushed my pollen patty out. So what I can do is I can lift this up and push the pollen patty back in. We're all set now. Just cleaning things up a little bit. Oh, my beautiful hive. Now I'll just pick it up a little, move it back. You want to have all of your hive bodies exactly together, too, if you can. So I think we're better now. OK, now we're good to go. signature of a Jody hive is I always tie my ratchet straps up so they're not on the ground. <laughs>